don't ever not listen to your spirit, your gut, your instincts, your intuition, because it will get you into trouble every single time. I did that recently. About three weeks ago, I had an interview and the morning of the interview, I woke up in a very bad mood. I was crying, I was anxious, and that's unlike me. So just that moment should have told me not to go to the interview. But I just said, no, I need a job. So I went, but I kind of didn't care. I wore jeans. I did have on a nice shirt and a blazer, but usually I'm dressed very professionally. So during the course of the interview, the woman who owned the company, she watched a reel that I had video edited. And, and I will say, I just kind of pulled from the existing footage that they had and made something out of it. And after it played, she said, I have to be honest. I'm disappointed. And then she turned to the other person in the room and said, I don't remember asking to interview her. Okay. And I was just sitting there kind of numb. But by the end of the interview, she was like, I love you. And they hired me. My first day was the following Monday. I wasn't able to do the tasks that she wanted. And so I got demoted and I was offered a job that was significantly less pay. And I took it because I was desperate and I wasn't listening to what God was trying to say to me with all the anxiety. And I hated that. I hated the whole vibe and energy of it. And the woman was one of those people that was never going to be satisfied. So after I completed my seventh day there, I decided I wasn't going back for an eighth. So I quit and I felt relieved because I knew that God did not want me there in the first place. So you have to listen to your spirit because that is God's way of trying to protect you. And even if you are in a position where it's like, well, I need a job, there's this desperation. Just know that desperation is coming from the enemy because he knows that God has something better for you. So you have to be patient. You have to have faith. Falling for the desperation and accepting things that you know are not from God is never the answer. So I feel relieved that I left. And I kept saying, Lord, I know you have a miracle for me. I just have to be patient. And it doesn't mean you just sit back idly and not send out applications. It just means that you just have to trust it, that he will bring you exactly what's for you. And you'll know, because you'll feel it in your spirit. So that's all I wanted to share. Peace.